Sorry again. I'm staying. You gotta go. Sure. Bye. You really let him stay after that. He told you he was sorry. I'm not the one that needs the apology. <laughs> Are you this uptight with your man? He tried to. He tried to. He was drunk. When is he not? Look, I crash there all the time after work. He had no idea that you were staying here. It, it's an easy mistake. Does he have a key? Um, I'm sorry, but this is my apartment and who I give a key to is none of your business. I just think you should have a, a little more respect for yourself. You're not at mom's anymore. Do I say anything about who you're dating? Well, that's different because at least he respects me. He's your professor. Former professor. Wait, can he get in trouble for something like that? Is that what excites you about it? You get to play the naughty schoolgirl? You don't get to talk about my relationship. But you have full access to mine. You never take responsibility for anything. You don't have to stay here, okay? Why don't you just get your own place but you can't because you can't get a job because of your liberal arts degree. You know what, at least I was brave enough to do something with my life. Brave enough. I have a job. I have this place. I have a man and I can do whatever the hell I want and I'm perfectly happy with that. I don't call getting disgusting old men shit-faced a career. Why don't you just say it? What? You think you're better than me. Can you just stop? It's not even true. You know I stayed in that hellhole for you? I could have left as soon as I turned 18. But I knew. I, I knew I couldn't leave you there alone. I never asked you. I never asked you to do that. No, you didn't. But you needed me to, and you know it. I know who you are. The real you. You taught me to dream. There's so much more than this. Remember all those things that we planned when we were kids? We could still... We could still do all of them. We were just kids. We were just kids trying to escape. They're just dreams. They're not real. I don't believe that. That's how we got through it. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry. For what? I'm sorry Dad took it out on you more. Because you were just trying to protect me. And I'm, I'm sorry growing up like that killed any hope in you. But I know it's still in there somewhere. That's what I believe. And you could just, you could just hate me for it. But I'm not going to let go until you see it in you again. So 
So if you just, if you want me to move out, then I will. kept his key. I figure this is our home now, so we should both decide who we let in. Yeah. Me too. And I brought Mr. Snuggles to the party. <laughs> Mr. Snuggles! I'm Mr. Snuggles and I'm back to my place. <laughs> 